Well, good morning. Welcome to part seven on my series on neology. So Colossians 2 verse 6 in your Bible says this, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. What I want to do today is share with you tamale prayer. And you might have figured out this isn't about delicious Mexican food. This is about it. This is an acronym. I want to talk to you about uh, a way to work out your whole day uh, with, with prayer. And so we're going to look at these uh, seven letters for this and work this out. So the T is for take me, Lord, is completely yours. We could start the day by praying to God and say, Lord, take me. I want to be completely yours. We want him to have our day. It doesn't mean we're calling for chaos in our day, but we want to be all his. Next, we have A. And we can say, all my plans are yours today. All my plans are yours today. And again, that doesn't mean we're asking God to break up our day into a, into a totally something we hadn't planned on, but he might. He might have something better than you had planned. And so, all my plans are yours. So everything's on the table, right? Then we have M. Make me your agent. Make me your agent today. In other words, again, not only are we totally his, but we're asking him to intervene so that if he has something planned or something that he can plan, some intervention he wants to make uh, to bring some other soul into his truth, into his kingdom, into connection with Jesus, that you are an available agent for him to use. Then we have another A, tamale prayer. The next A is abide in him. We want to abide in Jesus all day. We want to have a consciousness throughout the day that we are uh, living in communion and in connection with Jesus Christ. And the L is for let everything that I do be done in your strength. At no time do we want this to degenerate into a, uh, like we're scoring points with God, you know, by doing these things. And, and I wonder how I'm doing today. I wonder what my score is. Remember, everything's kind of gamified today. Uh, so many things are that way, but not spirituality, not Christianity, not your devotional life, and certainly not in your neology, not in your prayer life. So let, let me do everything that I do do today in your strength. And then finally, we have the E at the end, tamale. And, uh, you know, it's one thing to go through the day and to hit all these pieces, but sometimes at the end of the day, we're tired, we're mentally tired, we're not as alert, we fall back into kind of an entertainment mode. That is not a useful thing for our spirituality. So what we want to do is to E, end the day still in connection with Jesus. It may take some intentionality to do that as we finish out our day. Actually going through the entire day from morning till the end in his keeping. And so ending the day still in connection with him. Tamale prayer. And we could maybe get some tamales in during the day as well. That's not going to hurt anything. It's something as we're trying to upgrade our prayer life, these seven uh, quick devotional thoughts on prayer. So there you have them all. This is number seven. I'm very excited about what's coming tomorrow. We're moving into the Gospel of Mark for some short devotional thoughts. We're going to start in Mark 1, verse 1, and be working our way through the Gospel of Mark. So we're looking at seeing Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. So I hope you'll join me for that tomorrow morning. Right now, let's pray. Dear Father in Heaven, we've taken seven days out to upgrade our prayer experience. Thank you for the opportunity to learn some neology. And Lord, we thank you that we can come to you and we've been talking about that these seven days. Help us. Help us to draw close to you through prayer and then we can serve Jesus more acceptably. Please bless us in this thing, Lord. It's our desire. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So here we have it. Again, Colossians 2, verse 6. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. May you so walk in him today.